to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95 unfortunately. But good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Achanda. Now shipping again to you as in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps, and we've got a great range of inks, which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. I think for me, crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touch On. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Yes, indeed. Good morning, one. Good morning, all. How the devil are you? Are you well? I know, it's bright and early. We're all here again. Here we are. But guess what? You've got me all day. 
you lucky little thing. Yes, indeed, you've got me all the way uh, to five o'clock this evening. Obviously, we'll have breaks in between, and Janet and our Alex will be in as well. Uh, but we're all here. The happy family are back together again. And what an hour we have for you this morning. Now, it's 7 a.m., so we're not going to go, we're not going to delve too deep. But however, if I tell you now that the prices that you're about to see won't go above £20. A little, it is Ross, yes, we've got Ross Direct, uh, Ross Producing. He has a go at directing now and then. Uh, we've got our Jimmy directing. Uh, we've got our Jack on floor as well. And I'm not on my own. Normally at this unearthly hour of the morning, they make me stand here on my own. But no. Yes, indeed, we have a guest. It's the one and only. It's Joe. How are you, my love? Morning, Adam. I'm good, thanks. You? I'm good. You're miles away. It is. It's a bit like uh, you are I need a telescope all the way down to see you. the other end of the studio. <laughs> uh, so our Joe's here is going to do live demonstrations for us as well throughout the hour. And it's more technique based. Yeah, just showing you a little bit more about what you can use on your MDF. Because I know that um, a lot of people see a blank bit of MDF and think, what can I do? Um, so I'm going to look at what you can throw at it. It's what I like. It's what I like. What can you throw at MDF? We're about to find out. Uh, and that is, it is an MDF show. So we've got a lot of things on this show. As I said, all under £20. And you're getting an awful lot of things in there as well. So let's start off, first of all, with our alphabets. Now, these are your Crafty Self Silly 70 MDF Little Tiles. They're one inch squares is what you're getting for £14.99. Now, when you say 70, obviously you get a full alphabet, but then you're thinking, well, where are the extra tiles coming from? Now, I thought exactly the same question. I was like, well, what are we getting extra? Are we getting exclamation marks? No, you're getting the letters that you need more of. So things like your Zs and Xs that you're going to use in just about every word. So. Oh, so we're getting more of the vowels in there. So basically, you know those names that you can never spell? Right, because you haven't got enough letters to use them. Now you are. So they're the small, and you can see them at the bottom of the works as well. They work beautifully in your mixed media projects. They'll also work on the front of your cards. They'll also work in your journals as well. Because they are only that one inch square that you're looking at, or a deep one inch square as well. Look at the thickness of that. But you've got that one inch square there, so you can now start creating. Maybe you use these for the starts of your sentences. Maybe you start using them on your... Well, like you, we spoke about this yesterday, about hampers. I'm a big fan... Was it was two, three days ago. I don't know what merges into one. Uh, I'm a big fan of a hamper. Oh, yes. That's another thing to add to the list, apart from a shrink plastic and a box frame. Uh, but you can put them on the front of things now. Uh, baby cards, if you wanted to. You can make your own little bunting. And obviously, you've got the original Scrabble letters, love, home, them sorts of things that you can create as well. £14.99, 147756 is your item number. Now, if you're thinking, I like the little, but I'd like to go slightly larger. Well, you can go larger as well, if you wish. Uh, we've got the two-inch squares on the show as well. Now, once again, slightly larger this time. Well, you can see how large they are. If I put a, an inch, one inch next to a two inch. So you can see we've gone, we have gone up now. Uh, so they are, they're big gold scrabble pieces. Look what you've got there. But we were saying just before we come on air as well, these would be amazing. Maybe you just leave them as they are and then put a magnetic shim on the back so they become magnets. And then you use them for, I know my mole will love them, because she'd love to start creating words with these as well. So you could create your own words with them if you wanted to as well. Well, it is a bit like that old, yeah, Jimmy, it's a bit like the hangman game. You know when you have to spell out a word? Or the wheel of fortune where you turn over and you get a certain letter each time? You could do that with these tiles, because once again, you're getting 70 of them. So then 70 tiles, you are getting more of the letters that you used before. Um, well, I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked before we came on air. And I always get scared when people say MDF. I don't know if you're like me, I just see that. And that's all I think you can do with it. And whatever I put onto it, I'm going to need a lot of medium because it's going to soak, it's going to absorb in. So if I wanted to paint it green, it's not going to go green. I'm going to have to start... The easiest way to describe this, I think of MDF like a fence panel. You know when you paint a fence panel and you think, oh, I put it on green, oh, it's lovely. You turn around, you go for a cup of tea, you come back and it's like a light shake. It's all absorbed into the MDF, uh, into the wood. MDF's not like that though, is it? It just 
take all mediums. You it can, takes them really yeah. well. You can use everything on it. I've used, just onto plain MDF, I've used some of the pearly wink sprays, and I'll show you that a bit later. They take really, really nicely. But if you want the vibrancy of the colour that you're putting down, a coat of gesso, See? and that just makes your colour pop, and it stops some of the paint and the, whatever you're putting on the MDF absorbing directly into it. So... Um, you can go anywhere with colours on MDF. You can go really bright and zingy, and you can go muted and vintage. So it's. Uh... But you can do something, and don't just think paints as well. Home decor, you could put these on. Wrap fabric around them if you wanted to as well. Uh, the world is your oyster with these. Uh, they are etched on the slightly etched on the inside as well for the letters that you've got there. Uh, so you could just use them as a normal tile. Turn them over. You've got a blank little tile. You've got a little trading card if you wanted it to be as well. It's entirely up to you. Uh, £19.99 for these, though. You're saving £7.31. 036816 is your item number. For your Craft Yourself City, 70 MDF tiles that are two inches of your full alphabet. Now, we've got typewriter keys up next as well. These are your one-inch typewriter keys that we're going to start with. Once again, you're getting more of the letters that you use more often. Now, these would work wonders with your one-day special uh, from Studio Light. We've got those beautiful dies. They're on, they're on the next hour with me as well at 8 o'clock. But you've got a beautiful typewriter in there. These are your typewriter font. So you've got all those beautiful... Look at that for a finished sample. Absolutely beautiful and it's a nice little font as well to use it's a nice font for for all ages as it were so maybe you are going to pop them on the front of a card maybe you are going to use them. i just love the way that these they remind me of like little stepping stones for a little pixie that you could use them for as well uh, creating letters as you go round again 848195 is your item number 14 pounds and 99 pence on these as well uh, remember these are your one inch We've also got two inch as well on the show as well. Once again, the same font type. It is your type font. Uh, but look at what you can create. I think these are beautiful. I absolutely love these. I, me and Mo would absolutely have a field day. Um, creating words, finding her name in these as well. Uh, you could also play like, like sort of snap if you wanted to. Uh, also, um, a scavenger hunt. So you could, you could, if you wanted to, you could drill a little hole into these. And on the scavenger hunt, you could mark out on paper A, B, C, all the way to Z. And you could just hide them around the garden, keep the kids entertained as they go. And once they found them, they mark them off, put them in a little bag and work on again. That's what we do at the moment. We absolutely love doing it. Uh, we hide uh, little Barbie dolls around the garden. And then on Molly's little kid's iPad, we take photos of where they are. And she has to go and find them. Keeps her amused for hours because I throw them on top of the shed. Uh, but <laughs> she could never find them. Uh, but with these as well, you've got, that, you've got that depth as well. These aren't flimsy. These aren't going to snap or break. Look at the thickness that you've got there. On the two inch and the same on the one inch as well. You could layer them up. You could do so much with them. Don't just see them as alphabets. See them as 70 circles of MDF if you wanted to. If you want to throw your gesso on them, if you want to throw your mediums on them, you can stamp onto these as well. £19.99, £7.31 pounds pounds saving is what you're getting on these. 802606 is your item number. Now, we've got up next somewhere to keep basically all your letters, like a little money box if you wanted to. Uh, now these are beautiful. You're getting three wavy boxes. Now, this is one of the boxes made up for you. Uh, you get all the pieces that are in there. Now, the wavy box themselves, they get their name from the wave that you've got on here. Okay, so you've got all these waves that are on here. If you use them for notelets as well, you can easily get to your notelets because you've got these cut out so you can pick things out. You're not fighting your way against the box that's in there. But look how beautiful you can decorate them. You could use these for anything, odds and ends. Once again, little gift boxes. Uh, little soaps, little pop, a little bath bomb in there, a little bit of tissue paper, a little bath bomb in there if you wanted to as well. Um, I'm going to ask the question to Joe. The Joe, these, it's all well and good me standing here going, these are amazing. But when you get them home and you sit there with all these pieces in front of you, are they easy to put together? They are. They're really easy to assemble. And if you look on the videos that I did for last night's show, you'll see there are only two pieces that you really need to think about. And that's the final side piece that you clip in, which is the last bit that you assemble on the box, and the front piece, because they're 
both the same so you've just got to make sure that you've got it the right way around but dead easy to assemble and a really nice size there's lots and lots of different things that you can do with them i think they're about 10 by 10. they are beautiful and as you said there's so much you could do with them if you wanted to because in theory you could just leave them as half a box mm -hmm. if you didn't want to if you didn't want the lid on them so maybe you just want them open so that in theory then you get two little boxes that you can put things in onto your desk so maybe it's like a little desk tidy but then you've got the opportunity to close them with the hinge that's in there as well there is so, as i said so much you could do you could create little scenes on the inside as well maybe like a little christmas scene and you could have a little sort of a little stick to keep it wedged open so you can see that's in there uh, you could put little lights on the inside of the box if you wanted to as well once again it's mdf it takes all your mediums but you could also use it for your coins so you could if you wanted it use it as a little reward box now, we've got, well, once again, I can only go to my own personal experience, but we've got one of these at home, and ours is little stars. So we have stars, and we have a box like this, and when Molly's been good, or she's slept through the night, and, well, she should do, she's 33, but, um, she's actually three, but if she sleeps through the night and she stays in her own bed, we give her a star in the morning, get 10 stars, and she gets a present at the end of it. This could be one of the boxes where she pops everything in, but we could have used our coins that you pop your coins in. So maybe we paint these up as like pirate's treasure coins and you leave them in there. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with your boxes, but for three of these of $14.97, it's worth having a little look as well. A memory box, maybe a little keepsake box that you've got in there. Uh, beautiful. And little wedding tables. Oh, see, I could talk about these for hours, what you could use them for. Uh, wedding table boxes. Uh, little gift boxes. Remember, you're getting three in a set for fourteen ninety seven. Nine four three three seven zero is your item number. You're saving six pounds on these as well. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, moving on down, shimming on down the counter. Now, sheets of MDF, and I'm talking sheets. Uh, A3 and A4 is what we're talking now. You're getting four of the A4 and you're getting six of the A3 for £14.96. You're saving £19. I told you uh, that nothing on this show is over £20. But the thickness that you've got on there as well, look at that. Now, myself and Joe were talking before we came on air and we said the A3 would make a beautiful journal. Can you imagine doing a massive journal? I've seen lots of A4 journals, but never A3. And a lot of people do like working on a bigger scale for their journal pages. So the A3, if you were to bind two of those together to make a, a journal cover, that would be great. It would be beautiful that you've got in there. And remember for the large papers as well, maybe you want to make your own artist folder to take everything around with you. Uh, you've got the opportunity there. Plus, you're also getting the A4 as well. So maybe you're going to start mats and layers and start doing your own frames with these. Bringing in your letters that you've got on there, because no doubt you could frame that and then your letters would fit on beautifully at the bottom. I can see a magnetic shim on here with what you've got, with uh, your details at the bottom, maybe it's the Humphreys household along the bottom in the, because that's what we call ourselves, uh, the Humphreys household along the bottom in the smaller one inch letters as well. And we've got your magnets on there. Put two little keys for the car keys at the bottom so we always know where our house and car keys are. Uh, you're good to go with these. And for these sorts of prices, there is so much that you can do with them. £14.86. You're getting six of the A3 and four of the A4 as well. Um, and look at that. In theory, look at what you're getting. Then look at your postage and packing. It would cost you a lot more. You're talking a weighty product that we're talking here as well. Uh, let's have a look. This shows you exactly how much you're getting. Look how much you are getting there. The A4 and the A5. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is a different one. Oh. Oh, this is A4 and A5. This time, so we're going slightly smaller this time as well. So maybe you want, no, maybe the large one, you want to go slightly smaller with these. £14.80. You're getting 12 of the A4 this time and 8 of the A5. Once again, would work beautifully. Yeah, maybe you're going to sell them. Maybe you're going to start selling things and you want to start selling your magnetic shims and using magnetic boards. You can do that. Make your own fridge magnets. Uh, it's worth having a little look. Um, Joe, why you've got... If you are going for the smaller options, once again, are these the sorts of things that you would use as, like, 
like mount board to put your projects onto absolutely yeah. yeah and the other thing i like the a5s because you can put them in an envelope and send them in the post um, and they're just an, a nice alternative to a card, send a piece of artwork. They're so robust. The thing that I like about working on MDF is you can throw anything at it. Um, so unlike using some sort of mount board, which can get a bit soggy, it doesn't matter what you throw at your MDF. It's never going to go soggy. It's never going to warp. It's always going to be really, really sturdy for you. So it's, um, having, having a load of the A4s, definitely the kind of thing that you want in your crafty stash. It's, after, it's good to have a little go as well. You've never tried MDF before. Maybe this is the bundle before you want to go bigger. This is the bundle to go for. You're getting 12 of your A4s and 8 of your A5s as well. Uh, you could cut your A4s down if you only wanted your A5s. And then you're going to get loads of A5s that's in there from those A4s as well. £14.80. Uh, so now, our last and final item that I have on the counter is a little pick and mix. This is any eight letters. Any eight letters that you want to go. Now, this is the lower case that I've got out at the moment. £13.96. Uh, they're brand new in today. Um, you can pick any eight letters, and they are good, good sizes. Um, I'm only putting my hand on so you can see the size that you are getting here. They are huge. The standard letters height is 19 centimetres, is what we're looking at here. Now, any eight that you want to pick, you can go for multiples of the same letter as well if you wanted to. We've got a full alphabet on the website. What I like about, though, is the, like things like the I come in two separate parts. So you get the dot on the I as well. So it's entirely up to you what you want to go for. Um, once again, really robust, really quite thick as well, ever so thick. Uh, Details are on screen, £13.92, 805305. Uh, that is the uppercase that we've also got on the show as well. So if you're thinking, well, I want one of the uppercase and the lowercase as well. Obviously, you can't mix your pick and mixes. You can go for eight upper or eight lower. Uh, £13.92. Extended delivery on these. The delivery date on these would be the 2nd of June, which is not that far away. Next week, I think we're talking. Uh, next Tuesday uh, is when we're talking about that. Uh, 31st, this Tuesday or Wednesday? Is it Tuesday? Oh. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I assumed the 31st was Monday. Uh, anyway, I, I digress. Uh, oh, well, there we go. We get paid Friday. Now, <laughs> yay. Uh, right then, that's enough for me. That's the only way I know where we are at the moment is when, I, when the money hits my bank and then it hits out the day after for bills. Um, and I'm back to square one again. Right, if you have any questions for Joe as well, why we've got her here, um, I, I mean this in the nicest possible way, but let's, let's use. Let's, let's use all the knowledge that she's got about the MDF mediums that you can throw on it. If you're scared and unsure, you think, I'd love to go for it, but I don't know what to do with it. Ask Joe. We've got to be in a studio at channel.com. Uh, but I think most of the demonstrations will answer all your questions. Here we go then. First demonstration, Joe. What are we up to? So we're going to use the A4 board to begin with. Okay. And I'm going to recreate one of the things that you've got over there, um, which is using some of the LeBlanc tissue paper that was oh. on the other week um, to make an A4 board, but with a bit of a difference. We're going to make this into a wall vase. Um, so all I've done firstly is I have trimmed around, um, just using water to tear the paper, the image that I'm going to use as the main feature on my plaque. And what I want to do, so that I'm not wasting any, um, any paint or any of the texture paste, I'm just going to draw around the bits that, that are going to show from that image. And we'll start off straight away throwing some texture paste at this. I've got just some, I think this is a Pearly Winks texture paste that I've got. And I'm just going to pop some of that onto the areas around the edges where we know that that tissue paper image isn't going to go. So if I just get that smooth through my stencil. A little bit at the bottom corners as well. And this is what I mean about you can throw anything at MDF. Texture paste adheres to it really, really nicely. Um, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to use some spray on it. Now I'm going to use that without any gesso, just so that you can see. There we go. 
see the effect that this will give without even using any gesso on the MDS. Um, I think traditionally a lot of people think that they need to put gesso on. Does it take longer to dry because it's MDF? Um, no, not really, because it absorbs the moisture in quite well. Now, what I'm using here as a spray, um, certainly with things like your, um, your gesso, that dries really, really super quickly. Um, I'm using a black and gold pearly wink spray on this because I want to go for a real vintage look. And I'm just going to quite liberally spray this all round. Notice I've got some paper underneath to catch this because I will reuse that paper for another project. So when I first sprayed that on, it looks really, really dark and black. This spray's got a load of mica in it. Um, so it does go a beautiful gold. And what I've done, in the interest of making sure that I can work a lot my way along with the, uh, the demo, I've got one here. If I just pop that down, well, I don't know whether that. you can see there. Can you pick up on camera that gold sheen? Yeah. And also because the um, the spray is so liquid, it's not. It, it's kind of gone in between the the texture paste, and it's given it a real antiquey vintage look. I really, really like it. Um, but it does take a while to dry like that. So. Um, but it gives a real, like I say, it helps towards the vintage look. Now, you might notice on this board that I drilled some holes in. I was just, I was literally <laughs> just thinking of a way to word the question without me sounding <laughs> stupid. I was going to say, do you need a drill? Right, so I've used a little hand drill with this. If you are drilling or fixing anything with MDF, make sure you're doing it in a really well ventilated room. Okay. Um, so it's, it's the, the dust from it, is fine so long as you're in a ventilated room but try not to get yourself covered in too much of the dust from it so next thing that I'm putting on here and I've gone far too over the top is a good layer of slap it on that is a good layer it is it is look at that and then I'm just going to lay down my image where I want it to go and make sure that I've got the slap it on all on top as well and this seals this to your MDF. You don't need anything else to seal this to your MDF. The slap it on will do that absolutely fine. So just make sure that you've got a good covering. And your image will go a bit darker until the, uh, until the slap it on is dried. And you can neaten off these edges as well later on. Just pull off the the bits that go off the image. Right. Is it the case of oh, whether you're going for the boards or the letters? Um, and I'm sure Joe will tell me if I'm wrong or not. But is it a case of if you did something wrong, and there's never really a wrong way to do anything with these sorts of things? Uh, is it a case of just gessoing over it? And yeah. you start again. Yeah, I mean, you might be left with your texture behind, but actually sometimes that's quite nice. Um, and it's the start of another project. So it's, um, there's, there's never any mistakes with MDF because, like you say, and the other thing that you can do, if you have put texture paste on MDF and you don't like where it is and you don't like how it's working, you can sand it back. Okay. And that gives another interesting effect because that will take the top coating of the colour off and leave you with a bit of white. Um, so there's loads of different things that you can do with the MDS So Whilst this is drying, I can just about see where I drilled my holes. And I'm just going to use a pokey tool. Well, to and do you always go from the front, never poke it from, like, because obviously I, if that was me, I would go from the back way just because I knew where the holes were. But then do you tear the paper in the it, wrong way? It probably wouldn't make any difference. Um, you can go either way. I'm going from the front because it just tends to push the, the edges of the paper into the hole. Oh, okay, so it makes it Rather than neater. poking it out of the hole, if that makes sense. No, 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 it does. And then if you go across, you should be able to see the other side where you've got your drilled holes. I love this board. It just works really, really easily. Now, the reason that I've poked the holes is because what I intend to do, and you've got a, a, a version, a finished version of this over with you, that I'm going to put a test tube onto this and I'm going to lace it all together so that this actually acts as a vase, so you can have it as a plaque or 
you can have it on a stand and if you were to put a single stem flower in there oh it works as a vase That'd be nice. which is yeah really cute um, so next thing that I've done is I've also sprayed the word bloom and I think on the one that you've got over there Adam you've got grow I've got grow yeah so I'm gonna but you do could also like as you said postable gifts what a gift this would be maybe fill that test tube with a bit of soil and pop yeah. some seeds in yeah that would be really really nice um, fill it with a fill it with a shot of gin and have. Well, an I think drink, drink I thought it was far too early to start mentioning. Break, break glass in emergency like, type scenario. Um, now, let's just get some. Or like little hot chocolate, or. Because obviously you can change the background accordingly. So you could go really kid friendly if you wanted to with this, or. Yeah, there's, there's so much you can do. You can do. These are really nice for doing um, kind of menu boards for in your kitchen. So yes. the kids don't ask you constantly, what's for tea, Mum? You can have your list up on there, um, painted with chalk paint. MDF takes chalk paint really, really well, most particularly darker chalk paints. You probably only need one coat. If oh, you're you using... don't need to gesso beforehand? or um, I wouldn't bother with chalk paints. Oh, okay. You really don't need it. Um, I would rather, with a chalk paint, just do one thin, thin coat, and then if you do need another coat, just use the same paint but nine times out of ten with chalk paints you actually don't need that second coat so I'm just getting a bit of glue for on the back of these letters and these again have just been sprayed up with the pearly wing spray but they've got a real I don't know whether you can just see yeah a real shimmer to them and you can also still see the letters through them as well. It doesn't overpower because you've got that slight, slight groove there. No, it's really, really interesting actually the way that the sprays interact with that, uh, with those engraved letters. I've got here some that are going on to a, another demo. Let's see if I can get that right for you. Well, there we go. And where I sprayed it, it's kind of gone away from the. Um, Oh, yeah. From the actual engraved letter, so the letter still stands out for you, which is weird watching it happen, but it works, and I'm not going to complain when things work that are happy accidents. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave them doing their stuff. So I've got a few little bits of accessories that I can dot around on here, which I won't bother gluing down right now. But when, we go, when you go back along the counter, Adam, what I'll do is I'll tie up our test tube but that's almost the board complete and once the test tube is tied up on there with a bit of leather cord it actually looks really really nice as a, a completed project and like you say you can put a stem of flowers in there or something and that's your project done it would be beautiful oh, I can't undo that I was gonna put a flower I was gonna put a flower in I know where one is I should have done it. I'll do it in a minute uh, but you've got look how simple and easy that was to do but that's rigid that is now but you could hang that if you wanted to on the wall you know it's not going to go anywhere even as it stands now how many mediums do we throw on that so we've put sprays onto the back of it your pearly wing sprays onto the back we've just uh, we've put your um, your glue on there for your uh, your, your cabochons on there you've got the weight on there but you know that board's gonna withstand all that weight as well, which is absolutely amazing. We're still with you. We're it's watching tie. Yeah, I've never been one for tie shoelaces. I, uh, I think Velcro trainers. But I'm going to move that to one side because you don't. You can see the finished project over there. You don't need to watch me uh, tying up the laces on that. Just I'm before not... we move on to the next demonstration, so um, you've already found these on the website as well. These are some of your seven-day savers that we've got. This is a beautiful, beautiful journal that we've got here. woodland leather now we're talking woodland leather so now we're talking sort of faux leather that reacts and works just the same as real leather as well it's got the texture of real leather it's got the smell of real leather but it's not 26 pounds and 99 pence at uh, 240395 I'd love that journal uh, 395 is your item number we've also got scissors on the show as well uh, a good good name of scissors on these um, 766547 is your item number 24 centimeters in length uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence and then <coughs> excuse me I'm getting excited it's the lozenger I had before I come on. Uh, we've got zips. 
with 11 pounds and 99 pence. You're getting 50 zips in total now. We never thought of this. It was our Jo. She's been busy. You know the box that we've got on the show? The wavy boxes. You could attach a zip around the wave of the box to make it a zippable box. Which I think was an amazing idea. There's the box. And now then around this bit here, you could attach the zip. I think it's a, a cracking idea. Uh, 105587 is your item number, £11.99 for your 50 zips. Right then, I'm going to give you a quick recap of what we've got. Uh, first of all up are your, sort of like your little Scrabble tiles, other board games are available. Uh, your one inch little tiles, Boggle, Kaplunk. Buckaroo, the rooting tooting bucking game from MB. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence. These are the one inch, but I want to show you the thickness of these as well. Uh, so you're not just getting flimsy MDF that might snap everywhere. It is a good thickness on your MDF there as well. Now you are getting 70 of these. Now it's not, it's not the alphabet a couple of times. You're getting more of the letters that you use more often. So your Z's and your Z's, you won't get many of them, but your A's and your, your A-E-I-O-U's, you're going to get a few of them as well. So you really can start creating those names or those things, those places where you've been. And you want to remember places. Maybe you're going to pop these onto a canvas. It would be beautiful with a picture of where you've been or a wedding day. These sorts of tiles are very big at weddings. They're massive at weddings, because then you can start putting the day on there that you've got there, the Mr. and Mrs. on signs as well. As I said, little box frame. On the front of a box frame, you can't go wrong. Mr. and Mrs. on the bottom, wedding photo on the inside. Bish, bash, bosh, you're done. There's a gift. Uh, £14.99, 147756 is your item number. If you like the smaller ones, though, you want to go slightly larger, you can also go slightly larger as well. Now, personally, these are my favourite. Because um, they are the slightly larger tile as well. Once again, you're getting 70 of them. Uh, UT. Uh, then you've also got like you've got like four of the E's in there. You've got four of the D's. You've got three G's. Uh, this would be the same in the little one as well. Just so you can see, uh, you've also got one of the X's, one of the Q's, one of the Z's, three of the F's. So you know, you can sort of get to grips with what you're actually getting in the bundle itself. You can throw all your mediums at these as well. It's only £19.99. Nothing that I've got on this show is breaking the bank. Nothing is over £20. Uh, so basically, two £10 notes will get you these today. You can't, you can't really go wrong. Three, four, four fivers. Four £5 notes would get you 70 MDF letter tiles at two inches fair. Oh, you can't go wrong, can you? 19 pounds and 99 pence. 036816 is your item number. But this is one of those shows, and I don't, and I, and I mean this genuinely, this is one of these shows that you might be sitting at home going, I don't need them yet. I don't, I don't know what I'd do with them. But it's going to become that day where you are going to need something like you think, oh, well, I could do with a little tile. That would look nice just sitting there. Get them while they're at these prices. I don't know how long they're going to stay at these prices either. Because look at the savings and look at the usual prices as we go through the products. Uh, £14.99 price for your next one. These are the one inch um, typeface tiles. Uh, so these look like they've been typed out on a typewriter, uh, which are absolutely beautiful. But you could also make them as like typewriter keys if you wanted to as well. If you, um, I've only just thought about it, if you're working like a nursery school, and you're going for the large MDF that we've got, the A3 and the A4, you could sort of turn it into a makeshift computer. Do you know what I mean? Like the sort of computer that you could make, and you could sort of make it like a little um, tablet stand if you wanted to, but it would look like a computer. I think it'd be a beautiful item. Uh, but you're getting all 70 letters in there as well, the type fate, £14.99. 848195 is your item number. Uh, remember, there is a typewriter in your one-day special as well uh, that would work beautifully with these. You print out the die, you've got the die cut there, and then you throw the letters on as well. If you want these in slightly larger form, we've also got them in the larger form as well. Uh, we've got them in the large form. You can see the size difference is just here uh, that we've already got. So you can see that difference that you're getting. These are two inch circles now. So these are the inch ones that I've just told you about. The ones that you're looking at now are the ones at the back. So you can see the difference that's already in there. Uh, once again, beautiful typeface. Throw all your mediums at these. You know they're going to take them. 
And look at what you can start to create. You do that on a bigger scale. How beautiful would that be? In a window or in a frame. Um, it, it would be, it, they would be, I like, as I said, I like these. Put magnetic shims on the back of them. Turn them into little magnets if you wanted to. If you're thinking, actually, I don't want the alphabet. I just like the thickness of the wood. Well, you can. Turn them around and they're blank. So you can now just use them as blank discs if you want to. Gesso over them and you won't have the front either. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with them, but I would get them while they're at this price. £19 and £99, 802606 is your item number for these as well. Brand new today. Right then, our little box is up next, our wavy box. Uh, this is going to be our next demonstration uh, that we're going to have as well. Um, I love these little boxes. So you're getting three of these little wavy boxes. Now they stay up on their own as well. Maybe they're a little desk tidy that you want to use them for. Uh, Gail said you could use them for a special recipe for a cake. Thank you, Gail. Where was that on it? A little email? Oh, thank you, Gail. Gail in Coventry. Thank you. That might be my one viewer. I only have the one an hour, and maybe me and you, Gail, my love. Uh, but thank you, Gail, for your email. If you want to email in studio to chanda.com, uh, what would you use your little box for? I say little special recipes. Then little recipe cards would fit perfect, like the index card would fit perfectly in there. Um, Ross, the producer, and my produ and the producer, we only have one, uh, said he would keep his keys in. So we always knew where his house keys were, his car keys, when he was going, oh, they're mine, and take them out. You could even pop them into a drawer as well. So if you didn't want them on the show, you could pop them into a drawer. And as we said earlier, you could use them as just two, uh, two little boxes. But how nice would it be for, uh, yeah, for a little watch box? Can you imagine uh, opening it out and in there you've got a little birthday gift and on the inside you've got a beautiful watch that's in there? That would be stunning. As it, like, it could say, here's a little birthday gift, open it up, there's a little watch for you, which is engraved on the back as well. So you could have a watch that's engraved. Maybe it means something uh, to someone. I'll put that back on in a minute. Uh, maybe it means someone. Maybe it's a big birthday, 18th, 21st, the gift they're going to remember. Uh, you can remember it with these as well. And you are getting three of them. I never thought of a watch box. What an amazing gift that would be. Uh, 943370 is your item number, 14 pence and 97 pence. Right then, we're moving on. I think. Are we? We are moving on. Uh, once again, me making decisions. Uh, now, getting ahead of myself. Uh, now, we've got uh, the MDF. These have been considerably busy this hour. Uh, you're getting six of the A3 and four of the A4 this time as well. We're approaching half the stock here has now already gone. Very, very busy on these. If you want to go slightly smaller, the details have now appeared at the bottom of your screen. But we said, how about a journal? Turn it into a journal, get two of these and turn them into journals. Uh, also to create name boards with them as well. So like little place boards if you wanted to. It is. You could even turn that into a little whiteboard if you wanted to. Turn it into a little chalkboard and have your little pots at the bottom with your little chalks in if you wanted to as well. You could offset it and maybe put one of your letters on the side that we've got coming up next. Uh, this was what I was saying about a tablet. You could turn it into a little tablet stand if you want to put something at the bottom, and then you could put your typeface on another one and have it like a little keyboard if you wanted to as well. Uh, the possibilities are endless with these. You've got your natural mats and layers already in because of the size difference that's in there. £14.96, we get you six of the A3 and four of the A4. 182135 is your item number. Uh, we've also got a slightly smaller bundle on the show as well. These are your A5s and your A4s this time. Uh, you are getting um, 12 of your A4s and 8 of your A5s. These have been considerably busy as well. Uh, 